Hi, I'm Mark Horner. Million Dollar Cup of Coffee was created to help everyone take control of their financial destiny. So when someone refers to the P.E. ratio, what are they talking about? Well, don't let the jargon intimidate you. It's short for price to earnings ratio. And it's just one of many measures used to value the stock market. And like a lot of things in investing, the formula is simple. Take the price at which an investment is trading and divide by the company's earnings. The result is the P.E. ratio. And that works for both individual stocks and the overall stock market. So why do this? Well, think of the deli counter at your grocery store and imagine trying to select what turkey or cheese to buy without the price per pound information. What would you base your decision on? Packaging, a recommendation of a friend, and those today's special signs. How could you determine just how special the deal was without a common unit of measurement? That's all the P.E. ratio is, a formula to convert individual stock prices to common units of measurement. So instead of price per pound, the P.E. ratio tells you your price per unit of earnings. Lower P.E. ratios mean you're paying less for every unit of earnings than higher ratios. And that naturally begs the question, why not just scan the market for stocks with the lowest P.E. ratio so you can buy them on the cheap? Well, let's go back to the deli. Prices and quality vary. Bologna and American cheese, that's probably fine for the kids' lunch boxes. But for a dinner party, you might want a slightly more expensive selection of meats and cheeses. Sometimes you just have to pay for quality, and that's true at the deli or with your investments. P.E. ratios, they're just another tool to help you make informed investment decisions. I'm Mark Horner, MillionDollarCupOfCoffee.com, and on Twitter at MDCupOfCoffee.